Hi, my name is Willy Quirth. I want to introduce you to a very unique way, which I haven't seen on the internet before, of releasing a water rocket. I've used the same method before on a telescope mount, uh, gripping the truss poles of a telescope. The principle is that if you take something like a piece of rubber, which is expandable, and you compress it, it'll expand sideways, it'll get thicker, and therefore can grip the bottle on the inside of its neck. When you let go, it'll release the bottle. So I was walking around the hardware store with my bottle, and I was looking for suitable uh, pipes and materials until I found this. It's just a, a fairly uh, soft plastic pipe, and the nice thing is that it fits inside the bottle exactly. So therefore you've got a nice fit there, and this can hold the bottle and release it. Looking further, I found that you can get some of these 15 millimeter nipples and they fit nicely inside there and then it can still fit inside the bottle. So this is what the design is based on. So one needs some extra bits and you sort of carry on walking around the hardware shop until uh, you find all the bits that you need, which I'll show you in a minute. This 15 millimeter nipple has got a nice adapter for half inch which is what we base most of our stuff on and if you cut a piece of pipe put it across you have a nice fit there so just we just need a way of expanding the pipe now as the base of the launcher I've used this garden sprinkler which I've slightly modified added some weight at the bottom just to stabilize it a bit more put a block on the one end and connect up to your pipe which will then be pumped by by your bicycle pump or motor car pump. Now normally these come with these high-rise um, pieces of uh, 20 millimeter pipe. Um, this was a bit too tall to my liking so I luckily found a shorter piece, 120 millimeters long to get a low profile but you can you can do the same with the high rise if you want to you will see in a minute just um, putting a longer piece of, of uh, 40 millimeter pipe on there while looking for matching simple materials I found that this uh, connection which is a 32 millimeter uh, fits the uh, fits over the socket quite nicely and then by simply filing in a hollow in it on the one side and through to the other side if you then introduce this thing on here and if you turn it as soon as you turn it you see that the whole socket will be lifting by a few millimeters and this is the mechanism for finally squashing the piece of plastic pipe what is nice about the 32 millimeter um, socket like this is that it fits nicely inside a 40 millimeter uh, PVC pipe which I'll use as a riser so this end can fit in there nicely this thin wall uh, 40 millimeter diameter PVC pipe takes the 32 millimeters fittings, fittings quite nicely to stabilize the tube at its top end I took a 32 to 25 millimeter reducer and I cut off the ends um, and then this will go into the other end which you'll see something that could be a bit tricky for people who don't have access to lathes but there are ways of using grinders etc this uh, hex got in the way so i actually modified these by turning them down such that they are round and of course the one end needs to go inside the bottle so you need to somehow reduce this to get inside the bottle so the best is to remove most of that so that you end up with the uh, with it being able to go inside the bottle okay so it's based on a 120 millimeter long nipple which will go into there on top of that this system is go so you need a bush now you do also get this in plastic it's just a bit more bulky so i find that the galvanized works better it's also got taper thread so it seals slightly better so in there and then your one modified reducer to 15 millimeter goes in there and then your 15 millimeter pipe which will then take the 
the two and then finally another one so we need a way of squashing this so this is where the next step comes in so far the system, the system looks like this um, and then put some washers and I actually prefer two washers so the one can slide on each other and then your piece of pipe that will squash it will go on there and then the rest of the system over there um, so we need some PVC pipe in between and so you can actually measure it off and um, then cut it off square so that when you assemble it it's inside there okay to stabilize it at the top here I've mentioned a modified reducer so this will then go on there and then when the pipe goes on there it won't flop anywhere okay so, so far I've just shown you a dry run so if you finally screw it all together you need to seal it properly we are putting something in the lines of 8 to 10 bar on it so you need to seal things properly so we put on some thread sealing tape and then screw it together properly and you need the proper connections to really tighten that down properly so you repeat this with all the other connections uh, just a note on these washers you may need to make them up or drill them out because what you want is on the one side must be able to go over your 40 millimeter pipe and the the other side must go must be a nice fit over there so uh, so if the second washer is just is just a good fit there so that the uh, the the pipe will be will be squashed nicely so you may need to make this up or f find uh, hunt around until you find exactly the right washer what i found on my first tests with this system is that the using a piece of pipe that will fit through most of the connector there uh, that's actually a bit too much so that when it goes over the bottle it goes too deep and it wouldn't let go so i'm going to remake it now such that your washers will end up roughly in in that position because of that nipple screws in or that adapter screws in there um, that that you only you only want about so much of the pipe so that it just covers the neck of the bottle and uh, so we're going to reduce this to over there so your PVC pipe which you which will then decide the height of this now one easy method of getting the pipe to be square is the old-fashioned way I even use the slip that I bought the stuff with so once you've got your mark you would put the one end on the mark then just wrap this around until it goes back onto itself exactly and then it's square so then you just mark along there and you cut it off I also find cutting it off is cutting all around cutting all around all around until it falls through so don't try to do it in one cut that's often skew okay so the order of assembly is a bit tricky because this cannot fit over there you need to introduce that first before screwing this one down then your PVC pipe you'll see I've added an adapter here this is just because I've, I've changed my design slightly so normally this pipe would then be the same length so that will go over there and then your stabilizer which we mentioned before will go in there and you just push that down until it's a nice fit there so as you can see now we have our, our mechanism there you can see how it slightly lifts whenever you go through that dent okay so next comes the washers one over there and the last one and then your piece of pipe now I need to trim my pipe a bit I found that the easiest way is to actually get a 15 millimeter um, socket or um, in any any 15 millimeter of the black pipe variety and um, that gets you nice and square so that you can do your cut I actually find cutting it with a bandsaw is about the best 
so the, the final length here is what you will tweak finally to get the good fit uh, because this will obviously depend on how much clearance you have over there so once you screw that in you measure that distance over there and that is by how that's the same so the pipe will be at least that distance all right so you make sure that it's a nice fit there this is perhaps still a little bit tight I may sand it a bit more until it's a loose fit in there so that uh, there's no squashing beforehand because you need a little bit extra to tighten it as well okay so finally a little bit of thread sealing tape then your plastic and then Careful not to score this too much. There you go, ready to try. So if we now take a bottle, the bottle should go over there quite nicely, which it does. And then when you screw it up, that bottle is going nowhere. Let's test it out. Before you do the final launch, just put a little bit of lubrication down here because it's putting on quite a force the nylon is fine the nylon, nylon will probably be okay so we have our launcher there connected it to the pump let's give it a go okay that's mine bar that's it Of course, all these launches were dry, which isn't a representative test, but still. So if we put a little bit of water in, probably a bit too much. Being in the yard here, of course, we'll end up with on a neighbor's roof. So let's just see. It'll obviously go much higher. The bottle isn't streamlined yet. So if we add fins and everything else to the bottle, use a bigger bottle, then we will obviously do much better. And of course I'm going to get wet. But it's a lovely summer's day. So you wouldn't normally stand so close. For safety's sake, I'm just doing it for the camera. Nine bars. Here we go. So here's a very rudimentary rocket which I made up with some improvised fins and a little bit of weight on top. And this flies quite well. I tried this last night. It had a few falls already. So let's see how this flies. Okay, we have just under seven, just over seven bars in there. And let's see how that flies. Says you, Daris. Okay. Okay. Of course we still need to refine it, we need to put a remote mechanism for doing the turning for us and also put something in here that will act as a launch tube. Okay, so I rigged up something, just as a remote control, just using wire, something that can remote control. Okay, so now you obviously need a bit of longer string, just something that I had at hand, and, ooh, doesn't work. Shouldn't pull too hard. Okay, that needs a bit of refinement. Maybe we just put a stopper on it. <laughs> 